Hey and welcome back. So the question today is does waste vegetable oil and waste motor oil congeal when it's left in the tank? Now don't forget if you like seeing people work on cars without the time, money or skills or the space to do it then this is definitely the channel for you and hit that subscribe button. So if you guys remember about 10 months ago I made this mix of veg oil and waste motor oil uh, and a lot of you commented that it's going to congeal and block the filters and it'll develop a, a, some horrible sediment in the bottom of this tank. And my kind of thoughts at the time were, well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm only doing 25 litres at a time. It's not going to be in the tank for long, so it's not a problem. <sighs> How wrong was I? Of course, we've had lockdowns. This van has moved for at least nine months. So this is nine month old veg oil and waste motor oil. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to Block this pipe up here, snip it in the middle so I can take this off and I'll replace this bit of pipe anyway. Uh, I want to put a tank underneath the van anyway rather than having this temporary tank. Uh, and we'll run this through a filter and see what it looks like. So, let's get this out. This is either going to go well or be an absolute disaster. I don't want to cut this pipe because it goes all the way down to the tank because I'm going to stick with this tank for a short term at least. So I want to see if I can block this pipe off. some cloth under there just in case. Right, we've got a 0.5 micron filter, it's nice and clean. I'm gonna pop it in here, we'll pour it in and see what comes out the other end. So this bucket is clean on the inside, don't you worry. This could go horribly wrong. But at least it's on camera. Now I can hear that running through the filter, lovely. If I recall correctly, this was filtered to 0.5 a micron last time, so... Right, so we're really at the end of the barrel now. Uh, we'll fill and pour this through so we can see if there's any lumps or jelly in, in the bottom. I can see there is some sediment, but it doesn't appear to be too much yet. We're already, at this point here, we're already at the level of the feed off the tank. I'll turn it around and show you. 
So we kind of going into the dead space on the tank now. like a lump of something. There is definitely jelly in the bottom of this tank. So you can see the gunk in there. We'll get the rest of this poured and we'll have a look. Let's take a look in the tank with a bit of sunshine behind it. And that is what we've got on the bottom of the tank. And that is jelly. So you guys were 100% right. If it's left standing, it will polymerize and you get jelly in the bottom of your tank. So there's the bottom of the tank in close up. You can see that jelly there. It's a bit around the edge, a little bit of sediment in there. There's not actually as much in there as I was expecting, to be honest. Right, looking in the bottom of the filter bag, you can see all that jelly in there. There's some, some oil left in there, I haven't uh, finished draining it all out. But there we are. Good bit of sludge in there. Right, so there we are guys, um, you was right, I was wrong, please feel free to tell me so in the comments below. But was there as much gunk in there as you was expecting? It's been sat for nine months, admittedly there's a bit of diesel in there as well, uh, because of the return feed on the purge system. Um, but yeah, there was. I was expecting a bit in there after it sat for so long, so I changed those filters now. Uh, you know, the one that's uh, directly on the tank. I've already changed the van's main filter because I was giving it a service to get it back up and running. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what uh, what you think. Was it as bad? Or was it better? Uh, and feel free to say, no, no, I told you so. So, uh, cheers, guys. Thanks very much. Take it easy. Ta-da.